Want a cheap 4x4? Well, you can't buy a Daihatsu anymore. You can't even get a Panda 4x4. You could get a Suzuki Jimny, or you could get this. Back after 15 years, it's a Cold War relic, the Lada Neva. Performance? No, not really. It's got a 1.7 litre engine, but it's much better at making an awful lot of noise than making the Neva go fast at all. Entertainment. Well, it is kind of entertaining, but you'd have to say for all the wrong sort of reasons. The steering is really pretty terrible and there's almost no grip. For that, I suspect you can blame the distinctly dodgy looking tyres that this car is on. But then again, if you like a car to keep you occupied, you've come to the right place. Off-road. Well, it's pretty incredible, really. It's got everything you need a good off-roader to have. It's got fantastic approach and departure angles. It's got diff locks, it's got ground clearance, but most of all, it's also got light weight. If you want to go even further into the boonies than this Neva will take you, nothing less than a Defender will do it. There's no denying the Neva has a certain charm, but it's really on a sort of so bad it's brilliant basis. By any objective assessment, for a modern new car, it really is pretty terrible. It's one saving grace is it is fantastic off-road, but the problem there is you can spend a fraction of the money buying a second-hand Daihatsu or Suzuki, which will be almost as good, but so much better on the road. For that reason, the 90-second verdict, just two stars.